Hello everyone and welcome back to Morgborg Tech here again with another phone lot. This is a lot of 33 phones. I paid about 36 bucks for this so this is actually one of the best priced phone lots I've seen on eBay in quite a long time which says something because I found some pretty good lots in the past. Anyway let's get into it. I don't have much more to say about this other than that this is all basic phones. There are no smartphones in here this time. So a little call back to one of my previous phone lots. You should know which one. Packing peanuts. So I'll go ahead and take these out real quick. Okay, so I should have gotten all of the packing peanuts out of this box. And... Here you can see some of the phones with the way this is packaged. It's kind of packaged in layers. So this is only probably about a third of the lot. And let's start with this one here because I just realized this one's pretty interesting. This is a Motorola on T-Mobile. Except if you haven't noticed, this is a dummy phone. So this would have been on display in a retail store back in who knows when. So, because this is not an actual electronic device, I will not be including this in my update on this lot, but I might just hang on to this because, you know, a dummy phone, just a, a retail display, pretty cool stuff. You don't see that everywhere. Next up is this Alcatel Quick Flip on Cricut. I was told only some of these have batteries, so not all of them do. Let's see if this one does. Yes, it has a battery. Looks good. Has a SIM card as well. If I need it, of course. These are all untested. Here is some sort of LG on Verizon. VX6000, might be water damaged, we'll see. Here's a Motorola i776 on Boost Mobile. This is a, a callback to my first phone lot because that had one of these in it. So yeah, that one ended up being broken, it had a broken screen. I think I already know that this one doesn't have a battery, and it appears to be water damaged, so there's that. Here's an LG VX6100. Has a battery. Battery looks good. Here's a Nokia on T-Mobile. This looks just like my 6102i on Singular. Very strong water indicator, which I've noticed with a lot of these phones here. So hopefully they still work. Here's an LG B470 with a broken front screen. Has a battery. This one, the water indicator is not red, which is good. Here's a Motorola V220 missing the antenna on singular. I got one of these in my last phone lot. Battery looks good. Might be a generic battery. Here's a Samsung on T-Mobile, looks pretty cool, battery is bloated unfortunately. Let's put that back in for now. Here is a Verizon Casio. This might be the G's one Ravine 2. Definitely taking this case off though. Looks in pretty good shape. Still has some of the 
stickers on it. Battery looks good. I'm expecting this one to work. Here's a, I think this is a UT Starcom on Virgin Mobile. Pretty dirty, although my hand is kind of dirty now too. Has a battery. Looks good. CDM8074VM. Here's a Sanyo on Sprint. I think this might be the SCP-3200. And yes it is, this is the 3200. This one is pink. As far as I know, pink Sanyo phones aren't very easy to find, so that's interesting. Here's another LG VX6100. Something scratched into here. No means no. Okay. That battery is in there pretty tightly, and I don't want to rip off my fingernail on camera, so I'll take care of that later. And here are the rest of the phones. Here's another Motorola. This one's on Verizon. This is a T720C. I'm expecting this one to work if I have the right charger for it. I'll fix the back cover later. Here's another LG B470. Battery looks good. The back cover has an address on it and someone's name. Here's a Sanyo Tahoe. I've seen these around. Pretty rugged phone by Kyocera. No water indicator. I'm still getting the hang of focusing with this camera. So if you see me play around with it quite a bit, that's why. That's a little snaps right there. Here is what appears to also be another VX6100. Battery might just be a little bloated. Yep. So there were three VX6100s in the lot. Here's a Motorola on Singular. Not sure what this one is. A lot of new phones I haven't seen before. Okay, I don't quite see a model on this one. Here's a Samsung on AT&T. Pretty cool looking phone, honestly. Bloated battery, sadly. SGH A707. Here's another Samsung on T-Mobile, an older one. I'm almost certain I don't have the charger for this. Battery looks good. This is a SGH X495. It's definitely an older one there. Just see what kind of charger it takes. Yeah, I do not have that one. 
I've been looking for it though. Here's another A707 in a lot better shape. Although it's got some rubber right here. Kind of sticky rubber from here. Get that cleaned up at some point. No battery. Here's a Motorola Razor on Singular. Looks good. Looks like a V3Q, I think. Can't read that very well. Here is a Motorola Renegade V950. Hinge is broken, possibly. At least I have one of these already. Looks like it has the extended battery. As you can see, it just kind of hangs open. So the hinge is definitely broken. Hopefully the phone still works. Here's an LG 450. It's either on T-Mobile or Metro PCS. T-Mobile is a B450. Wire damage battery. Lots of red water indicators on these phones. Maybe not the best sign. Here's a ZTE on AT&T. Looks like the Z222. Has a battery. Looks good. That is the Z222. Here's an LG... 441G, I think this is, on track phone. Yep, I had one of these at some point, but it was missing the SIM card, so it didn't work. Here's an LG on T-Mobile. I'm pretty sure this is the GS170. Battery looks good. Yep, that is the GS170. Here's a Motorola, an old one because it's got the old AT&T logo. I think this might be the V60. Yeah, V60T. Pretty old phone there. Here's a Samsung on AT&T. Pretty sure this is the SGH A237. Strong water indicator. Yeah, this is the A237. Here's another Motorola Razor. On AT&T, obviously. In pretty good shape. It's got a different battery type for some reason. V3, maybe the V3G, not sure. I was wondering when I'd stumble upon an AT&T one of these because I haven't seen them too much. I've mostly seen the Verizon and T-Mobile versions of them. Here's an LG VX8350 with a broken hinge. This one is in red. Looks like whoever had this before tried to paint on it. Here's a Samsung Smooth on Verizon. Back in the day, these were pretty common. They were prepaid phones. Some of the cheapest you could get. They are littered all over eBay. Somehow I haven't had one yet. U350. So that is the Smooth. 
And here's the last phone, which appears to be another Razer on singular, possibly. Strong red water indicator. V3. So yeah, that is the phone lot. I'll just put these back in the box for now. So there is the 33 piece phone lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, peace.